the Lego Marvel 2023 mechs are here. Actually, they came out a month ago, but I just now got that third Thanos mech. So, you know, just bear with me. Today, we're gonna be looking at every single one of these individually. Then we're gonna bring them all together and compare them. We're not gonna do full reviews, but I am gonna point out key features and go over the main points of each mech. And at the end, I'm gonna tell you which one is my favorite to which one is my least favorite. If you guys are excited about these mechs just like I am, then make sure you guys smash the like button down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. First up, we got the Hulk. The Hulk is honestly a really good one. Let's look at the minifigure here. He's a standard Hulk with his ripped abs. He's got his purple pants and his green feet because they are shorts because they got ripped when he transformed. He has natural black hair. He's got a nice looking face print and he's got his angry print on the back. A solid, solid figure there. But the mech is what we came here for. Move out of the way, JT. We got a mech to review. So the mech has a really cool piece on its right hand as all three of them do. He has a construction piece or like a piece of debris that he is ready to throw and chuck at his opponent. But the mech are awesome one thing to note about these mechs they have new ways that they did the legs and the joints you can see right here this is one piece right here it's the same thing on the arms whereas in past mechs you can see they were fully built they're not one piece and they're a little more flimsy he's the only mech on here to have full two full hands the others just have a part or a little weapon on them to disguise it you can see there's a little connector piece right here he has a nice little radioactive symbol where that chest piece is he is predominantly the classic green and purple that we all know hope for but he also has these light green pieces on him as well a very very solid mech here next up we have rocket raccoons his mech is a little bit smaller and skinnier compared to the other two mechs because he is smaller well i don't know about skinnier but you know He's smaller for sure. He's got a gun for his accessory. He's the only minifigure in this line to have a little accessory on his hand. He's got his classic Rocket Raccoon face with his orange jumpsuit. A nice little figure there. Get the heck out of the way, JT. Biggest feature about the mech that you will notice is this Gatling gun right here. It is on his arm and you can just spray fire studs at your will but the thing is i'm not going to shoot those right now because those will literally go everywhere and i don't want to do that his tile piece right here is just some mechanism to actually resemble a mech it's a full square tile not a circle like the last one he's got brown hands with these little claws and the claws right here with the black you see he's got skinny arms with that one piece orange piece on the back the biggest thing is the tail look at this this is a one piece tail connected right there he also has these two little sound bar things on the back i don't know what those are for but they look really really cool and you can see more of the detailing right there and this is where his gun would go if he was actually driving the mech rocket raccoons is definitely different than the others but in such a good way lastly it's the mech i literally bought today the thanos mech thanos version 2 the first thanos Thanos mech was just a meme and this one is a dream first off get him out of the way let's look at Thanos real quick he's got a nice grin there he's super happy right now as you can tell he's got his battle armor with his blue pants and then some more gold armor on the back with his purple head I'm gonna set him back here but let's actually look at the mech his weapon of choice is a big blade Thanos's blade that he uses throughout the movie it's very very large very much bigger than mine but it's really cool and it connects two parts right there. He has really skinny fingers, gold skinny fingers for some reason. His is really cool because he has actual shoulders on this. The other two don't. They're actually built up shoulders. He's got his gold feet right there with the blue and the black. Again, beefy legs, not like Rocket Raccoon, but gold right here. His tile piece is a curved tile piece connecting the armor with the gold on top. There's nothing on his back. His other arm, though, has the Infinity Gauntlet, which looks kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a skinny little arm. But you can see it has all of the stones, and that is the Thanos mech. Now let's talk about which one of these mechs I like the best. Mini figure wise, we're going to go on a scale of three being the worst, two being the second worst, and one being the best. Number three is going to go to Thanos. He's a very simple little character right there. I don't have many of him, but he's not appealing to me. Number two is going to go to Hulk. Again, I don't have many of him, 
but he's just a standard Hulk figure, and it makes sense for these 10. Well, these were supposed to be 10, but they're now $15, so I spent $45 all of them together. Number one is gonna be Rocket Raccoon. I think he's really cool, and he comes with an accessory, which is always a plus. Now we're gonna talk about weapons-wise, the weapons that they use on both of their hands. Coming in third is going to be Hulk. He has a nice debris piece, nothing on his left hand, and nothing on Raccoon's, of course, but it's just nothing that stands out. Number two, again, Rocket Raccoon. I love his Gatling gun, was one of my favorites, but with not having two pieces, it really gets outshined by number one, the Thanos mech with the blade and the Infinity Gauntlet. Build-wise, um, number three is going to go to Hulk. It's just bulky, which makes sense because it is Hulk, but the hands are a little weird. Number two is going to go to Thanos. I really like the shoulder pieces and how it's built. It's just not as good as number one, Rocket Raccoon, being so skinny and small and being different. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to overall rank them. Number three is going to be Hulk. Number two is going to be Rocket Raccoon. Number one is going to be the Thanos mech. So one, two, and three. Personally, I think all three of these mechs are worth picking up. It's a $45 price range, but I think it's definitely worth it to get all three of these. Even if you already have the Thanos mech from before, it's always fun to compare them, but you guys just need to make the decision for yourself. And if you do, go ahead and tell me down below in the comments and tell me which one of these three is your favorite. That's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you guys smash the like button down below if you did go on to enjoy today's video. Subscribe to join the J team. This is your leader, JT, signing off saying I love you all dearly, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.